Let us all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins, and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please all be seated. 
On the first reading, in Israel, no one was like Moses. He is a prophet and a lawgiver. But Moses himself declares that God will raise a prophet not only like him, but even greater. His prophecy finds fulfillment in Jesus. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to all the people, saying, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen. This is exactly what you ex requested of the Lord your God at Horeb. On the day of the assembly, when you said, Let us not again hear the voice of the Lord our God, nor see this great fire any more, lest we die. And the Lord said to me, This was well said. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their kin, and will put my words into his mouth. He shall tell them all that I command him, whoever will not listen to my words which he speaks in my name. I myself make him answer for it. But if a prophet presumes to speak in my name, an oracle that I have not commanded him to speak, or speaks in the name of other gods, he shall die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa, in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, detested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. On the second reading, Paul gives some concrete ways of serving Jesus. While he places no restrictions, Paul believes that unmarried Christians like him can devote themselves entirely to the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I should like you to be free of anxieties. An unmarried man is anxious about the things of the Lord, how he may please the Lord. But a married man is anxious about the things of the world, how he may please his wife, and he is divided. An unmarried woman or a virgin is anxious about the things of the Lord, so that she may be holy in both body and spirit. A married woman, on the other hand, is anxious about the things of the world, how she may please her husband. I am telling you this for your own benefit, not to impose a restraint upon you, but for the sake of propriety and adherence to the Lord without distraction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Shadow 
by death Light has so The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Then they came to Capernaum, and on the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit, he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority? He commands even unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hello po sa inyo, lalo na sa mga kababayan natin sa ibang bansa na nagtatrabaho para sa kanika nilang pamilya. Para po sa inyo lagi ang pulang laso na ito. Mabuhay po kayo. Narinig natin sa ating Ebanghelyo ang kapangyarihan ni Kristo. In fact, salita lang niya, all-powerful na. Eh bakit nga ganun ang salita ng Diyos? Sa pamamagitan lamang ng salita ng Diyos, ang lahat ay nalikha niya. Ni hindi niya kailangan ang tulong ng iba. Ganon ang salita ni Jesus na describe dito. Hindi nga daw siya katulad mangaral ng mga eskriba sapagat ang mga eskriba kailangan ng tulong ng iba. Magko-coach sila ng kung ano-ano, kung sino-sino para magkaroon ng weight, ng bearing, ng dating, ng arrive, ng power ang pangangaral nila. Kaya oftentimes, maririnig mo sa kanila yung mga salitang nasusulat. Ayon kay propeta ganito, ayon kay propeta ganon, ganon. Pero hindi ganon ang Panginoon. Instead, ang laging sasabihin ng Panginoon, Amen, I say to you. Amen, ito ang sabi ko. Magsabi man siya ng quotation mula sa iba, ganito pa rin ang idudugtong niya. Nasusulat, narinig niyong sinabi, pero ito, ang sasabihin ko sa inyo. So walang ibang pinanggagalingang kapangyarihan ng salita niya, kundi mismong siya. Dahil ang salita ng Diyos ay siya. Salita ng Diyos ang naririnig mula sa Kanya. Magtataka ka pa ba kung bakit makapangyarihan talaga? In connection with this, nakita niyo naman, inuutusan lang niya sa pamamagitan ng salita niya. Ang masamang espiritu ay lumalayas na. In fact, kay layo ni Kristo sa mga nagpapalayas mula noon hanggang ngayon ng masasamang espiritu na gumagamit ng kung ano-anong mga salita, mga ritual formula para lamang ang masasamang espiritu ay mapalayas. Kung minsan, sumasablay pa. Dami nang sinabi, dami nang ginawa, sumablay pa. E si Kristo, mabilis lang, simple lang, tumahimik ka, lumabas ka sa Kanya. Tapos, E kung ang lahat ng mga nagpapalayas ng masamang espiritu na tao, ha? Ay katulad ni Kristo, ha? Na mabilis lang napapalayas ng masamang espiritu, ha? E di wala na tayo mga pelikula tulad ng exorcist na yan, tulad ng Annabel na yan, na halos kalahati ng kabuan ng pelikula ay tungkol sa pagpapalayas lang. Tagal lumayas, di pa? Kasi naman, akala mo, wala na eh. Tumahimik na eh. Nabilang, <laughs> But not so with Jesus. Pag pinalayas niya, layas, 
Talaga. Umaalis ng pupwit-pwit talaga. Nakapangyari yan. Kaya nga kung tatanungin ako, kung gusto kong magkaroon ng superpower o gusto kong maging superhero, ang nanaisin ko, hindi ka pangyari ng Superman, hindi ka pangyarihan ni Spiderman, Batman, Aquaman. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Kung kapangyarihan ni Kristo. Yan ang dahilan kung bakit nagpa-paint ako dati kay Wilfredo Ofe Maria. Yung nag-paint ng magandang painting dyan sa may pintuan, ganito ang pinapaint ko sa kanya. Ayan. Sa paligid ng mga superheroes, nasa gitna si Kristo. Sapagat siya naman talaga ang pinakamakapangyarihan sa lahat ng iyan. Fiction yung lahat. Si Kristo hindi. Totoo ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoon. And besides, handa niyang ipagkaloob sa atin ang kapangyarihan niyan. Iduluhin mo, Superman, ako man, sino yan? Mabibigay ba niya sa iyo ang kapangyarihan niya? No. Si Kristo, buong lugod na ibinibigay sa atin ang kapangyarihan niya. Luke 10.19, sabi ni Kristo, Behold, I am giving you authority to trample on scorpions and serpents and over all the power of the enemy so that you will not be hurt by any means. Ay, isipin po ninyo, over all the power of the enemy. Sinong kalaban? Hindi ang demonyo. Pagsamasamahin mo lahat ng kalaban ni Superman, ni Aquaman, ni Wonder Woman, ni Spider-Man, kung totoo man ang lahat ng yan, granted kung totoo man ang lahat ng yan, pagsamasamahin mo, isa lang naman ang punot dulo niyan. Sino? Si Satanas. O di ba yun ang sabi ni San Pablo? Ang kalaban natin ay hindi basta tao, kundi ang tagapamahala ng lahat ng kadilimang bumabalot sa mundong ito. Si Satanas. Anong sabi ni Kristo? Luke 10:19. I am giving you authority over all the power of the enemy. Kahit wala tayong power tulad ni Kristo, pag binigyan ka ng otoridad, nagkakapower ka tulad niya. Kasi nagkakaroon ka ng kapangyarihan sa pangalan niya. Therefore, anumang challenge ang ibigay sa atin ng demonyo, kakayanin natin dahil sa kapangyarihan binibigay ng Panginoon sa atin. Not just that. Ang sabi sa Ephesians 2 verse 6, Jesus raised us up with Him, seated us with Him in the heavenly places. Kaya sa totoo lang, we are heavenly people. That while we live in this world, sabi sa Philippians 3.20, our citizenship is in heaven. Yan ay kung tayo'y namumuhay bilang mga tunay na anak ng Diyos, ha? Katatakutan talaga tayo ng jablo. Kasi kapag nakikita niya tayo, nire-remind natin siya kung nasa sa atin talaga si Kristo ng kanyang pagkatalo more than 2,000 years ago. Pag nakikita niya tayo, kung tayo tunay na nabubuhay bilang Kristiyano at tagasunod ni Kristo sa mundong ito, the devil will be like, Nako, ito na naman tayo eh. Tatalunin na naman ako eh. Kung tayo nabubuhay talaga bilang Kristiyano, ha? Remember that, ha? Kasi hindi automatic yung kapangyarihan ngayon. Hindi tayo katatakutan ng jablo kapag best friend niya tayo. Hindi tayo katatakutan ng jablo kapag kampo na tayo. Hindi. Katatakutan tayo ng jablo at magkakaroon tayo ng kapangyarihan talaga ni Kristo kapag tayo nabubuhay bilang mga mamamayan ng kalangitan sa mundong ito. At kung ganyan, pansinin po ninyo, kung papaano tayo lalabanan ng jablo. Yung primary weapon niya sa atin is deception. Panloloko, panlilinlang, panggugoyo. O isipin nga po ninyo, sa lahat naman ang pwedeng maging superpower, yun ang pinili ng demonyo na gamitin laban sa atin. Deception. The devil is the prince of all lies. Siya ang pinakasinungaling. Sa lahat ng kapangyarihan, yun ang ginagamit niya sa atin. Bakit? Sapagat alam niya na kung tayo nabubuhay talaga bilang tunay na mga anak ng Diyos sa mundong ito, hindi niya tayo kakayanin. Kaya't ang gagawin niya, He will deceive us. He will trick us. Lolokohin niya tayo into thinking, di mo kaya. Hindi ka nagagaling pa. Hindi ka mahal ng Diyos. Kinalimutan ka na ng Diyos. Ang buhay mo hindi na magiging mahayos. Yun! Kapag pinaniwalaan mo yun, dun ka matatalo ng Diablo. Kasi alam niya, hindi siya uubra sa iyo. Pero pag naniwala ka sa kanya, dun ka matatalo. No wonder sa Bible, bukod sa serpent o ahas, ang demonyo ay lichen, tinutulad sa isang leon. Ahas kasi mapandin lang, mapanloloko, cunning, Leon, dahil kakonektado sa kanyang panluloko. Maingay, matungal. Sige nga, 
Ang liyon ba ang pinakamalaki, pinakamalakas na animal in the jungle? Hindi. Pero bakit siya ang king of the jungle? Of course, marami siyang ibang mga abilidad. Pero sa wari ko, malakas. Umatungal. Sa kanyang malakas na pag-atungal. Aha, nakasisindak. Akala mo sobrang lakas. Akala mo sobrang laki. Nasisindak pati. Elepante. And that is the devil's way of deceitfully threatening us. He plants fear, doubt, sadness in our hearts. Kaya't ang lesson, huwag pasisindak sapagat yung pagpaplant lamang niya ng seed of fear, doubt, and sadness in our hearts, bahagi yan ng kanyang pambablaf. Kasi alam niya, hindi kanya kaya. Hindi nga siya liyon eh. Kung liyon pa siyang totoo, matakot ka. Hindi nga eh. 1 Peter 5 verse 8, the devil is like katulad lang, tumutulad lang, nagpapanggap lang. Kaya huwag kang mag-alala. Mas lalong hindi ka dapat matakot. He is just all bark. But no bite. Di ba sabi ng ating Panginoon o nasabi sa Bible, tinanggal na ng Panginoong Heso Kristo dahil sa kanyang kamatayan at muling pagkabuhay, ang sting o kaya ang pangil ng demonyo, wala na eh. Kagatin ka man lang. Ang bala, ay ang kakal. Ito. At yung rason kung bakit patuloy siyang nagro-roar, nagbabark, is because he just wants us to back out. O di ba? Alimbawa yung aso. Bakit kung maatungal yung aso? The dog wants you to back out. Di ba? Ganun ang diablo. May mga pagkakataong, ang lakas ng bark. He wants you to back out. Eto, ang tanong. Nakaka-intriga yun. Di ba madalas ang demonyo? Lapit ka. Lapit ka. May gagawin tayo. Magnanako ka. Mga ngalo niya ka. Magdodrugs ka. Lapit ka. Hindi lang pala ganun ang Diablo. Ang Diablo, all roar. Rawr! All bark. Rawr! But no bite. Threatening you. Deceiving you. For you to back out. Kasi hindi na naisin ang Diablo na mag-back out ka kung hindi niya nasa sense na may mangyayaring maganda at mararanasan kang maganda kung patuloy kang lalabad at mag-move forward sa kanya. Palaban sa kanya. Tandaan po natin, ha? Yung narinig natin Ibanghelyo, chapter 1 of St. Mark. St. Mark's version of the Gospel. Ibig sabihin, ito ay bahagi ng simula ng public ministry ni Jesus. Ito na yung simula, mga ngaral na siya. Magpapagaling na siya. Gagawa na siya ng maraming milagro. Ito na. At magpapalayas na siya ng marami pang mga masamang espiritu. Ito na yun. Chapter 1, version ni St. Mark. At nagsimula ito sa pamagitan ng pag-iingay ng Diablo. Sa Tagalog version, sumisigaw. Sumisigaw. Kaya nga ang sabi ni Kristo sa kanya, Be quiet! Sumisigaw siya sa simula pa lang. What have you to do with us? Anong pakialam mo sa amin? Naparito ka ba upang buksain kami? Kilala kita! Ikaw ang panalalak ng Diyos. Ganun. Yung level ng sigaw. Nakakairita. Nakakarinde. Bakit ganun ang Diablo? Nasa sense ng Diablo? Ito na yun eh. Ito na ang simula ng pangangaral niya ng paggawa niya ng Himala. Ito na ang simula ng katapusan namin. Ito na ang simula. Marami siyang palalayasing kampun ko. Ito na yun eh. Kaya ito'y desperadong attempt ng Diablo sa una pa lang para mag-back out si Kristo. And so the enemy will not continuously roar at you, bark at you if he does not sense that something great is ahead of you. Kaya, pasisinda. Yung fear na nararamdaman mo ngayon dahil sa problema o mararamdaman mo pagdating sa pan- ng panahon dahil sa problema, natural yan. Hmm? Yung worry, natural din yan. Yung lungkot, natural din yan. Alam nga namang, hindi ka malungkot, hindi ka mag-alala, hindi ka matakot, malubha ang sakit ng mahal mo, malubha ang sakit mo, darating yan. At normal yan. Bakit? Kasi bahagi yan ng pag bark ng demonyo sa iyo para Iwanan mo ang pananampalataya mo para magtampo ka sa Diyos, para magalit ka sa Diyos. Pero kahit normal yan, huwag kang patatalo dyan. Huwag kang padadala dyan. 
patuloy kang magdasal, magsimba, magpakabuting tao, sumampalataya sa Kanya. And yes, kahit sobra na yung takot mo, kahit sobra na yung pag-aalala mo, kahit sobra na yung lungkot mo, kasi ibig sabihin nun, sobra na rin ang pag-roar, pag-bark, pag ng Diablo sa iyo. For your information, sana nakita ninyo na sa una pa lang sumisigaw na yung Diablo. Pero nung sumigaw siya, nung huli, I think ito na yung pinakamalakas. Napapansin ninyo sa mga movie ng Exorcist o sa mga videos ng totoong demonic possession, bago lumayas at mawala yung Diablo, anong nangyayari? Sumisigaw ng malakas ang Diablo. Pero pagkatapos nun, calmness. Peace. Wala na. Kaya ako sinasabing, pag sobrang lungkot mo na, sobrang takot mo na, sobrang pangalala, kumapit ka pa rin, ha? Magdasal ka pa rin, magpakabuting tao ka pa rin, sapagat malamang yun na ang huling sikaw ng Diablo. Mawawala na siya sa buhay mo, makapagtatagumpayan mo na ito, at mararanasan mo na ang magagandang plano pa ng Diyos para sa iyo at sa pamilya mo. John 10 verse 10, The devil is a thief. Magnanakaw ang Diablo. Bobo ba ang Diablo? Magnanakaw sa buhay mo? Kung wala naman siyang nanakawin sa'yo? Hmm, hindi ganun ang Diablo. Kaya kanya, sinisindak, pinagbabak out. May maganda pang mangyayari sa buhay mo. Yun ang gusto niyang nakawin sa'yo. Kaya mas lalabas na mas bobo tayo sa Diablo kung ipananakaw natin ito, laban. Hanggang sa huli, laban. Ito saan ang hiling nating biyaya sa banalal na pagdiriwang. Dahil dito rin natin mapapatunayan kung ang ating pananampalataya at pagkamahal sa Diyos ay tunay talaga. Amen. Ilagay natin ang ating kanang kamay sa tapat ng ating puso. Awitin natin, alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Kung ako'y magtatapat, Kung ako'y magtatapat sa Kanya'y maglilingkod, sa Kanya'y maglilingkod, alam kong may magkagawa ang Diyos. Alam kong di rin kinang Diyos ang samu ko. Alam kong di rin kinang Diyos ang Alam kong di rin kinang Diyos ang sama. Alam kong di rin kinang Diyos ang sama. Kung ako'y magtatapat, Kung ako'y magtatapat, Sa Kanya'y maglilingkod, Sa Kanya'y maglilingkod, Alam kong di rin kinang Diyos ang sama. Pikit natin ang ating mga mata. Panginoon, tulungan mo kung patuloy na kumapit sa iyo. Malaki talaga ang pananampalataya ako eh. Pero dahil kung minsan sa mga matitinding problema, lumiliit na. Pero di ba ang sabi mo, kahit sinlaki man lamang ng butil ng mustasa, ayos na. Basta yung maliit na butil na yon, aalagaan na namin yon. Hindi na namin pababayaang lumiit pa o mawala pa yon. Tulungan mo lamang po ako, Panginoon, na patuloy na kumapit sa iyo. Kahit isang daliri nilang ang nakakapit, hindi ko ito ibibigay sa Diablo. Alleluia! Patuloy akong magdarasal. Patuloy akong magsisimba. Patuloy akong aasa. Patuloy akong maniniwala na mahal mo ko. 
at hindi yun nagbabago na may maganda pa rin mangyayari sa buhay ko. Alleluia! Purihin ang Diyos! Alleluia! Sa takdang panahon ay pamalik ang Panginoon upang tayo ay kunin tapat siya sa kanyang mga pangako sa atin. Sabihin mo sa sarili mo, mayroong magandang mangyayari sa iyo. Panginoon, yung tindi ng problema ko ngayon, sana ito na yung huling sigaw ng Diablo. Napapagod na ako, nahihirapan na ako, pero naniniwala ako sa kapangyarihan, sa kabutihan mo. Hindi mo ako pababaya ang patuloy na maghirap kung wala kang magandang binabala. Mayroong magandang mangyayari sa iyo. At ito ay kineclaim ko para sa sarili ko. Kung lalapit kay Jesus, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please stand. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Offer Tori.
kami katanggapi sa pagkikilan. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that our sacrifice may become acceptable to God's loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and, and glory, glory of His, his name, name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founts of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And at time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this soul of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Dennis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those for whom we will now pray. In silence, we remember and we pray for our departed loved ones. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Lasselet, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, all the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to become co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, for the, kingdom the, the power, power and, and, the and the glory are yours, are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace the grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immersal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immersal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole Holy world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immersal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole Jesus, world. Jesus, King of Mercy. We trust in you. Alalahanin. Alalahanin. O mahal na birhen ng lasalit. Hina ng pag-asa. Ikaw ang nagpaalala sa amin. Magbalik loob sa ama. Ito ang nagpapatunay na kagandahang loob mo'y na natiling busilak. Sa pag-aruga mo sa amin, tungkulin mo'y tinupad. Sa paana ni Kristo'y itinuling mo kami, mga tunay mong anak. Kaya ninais mong ni Isay huwag mapahamak. Maging sa iyong walang tigil na pananalangin, pati luha ay pumatak. Huwag namang mawala na sa Isay ang iyong paghihirap. Hilingnawa namin sa iyo o aming inang liyag na matapos ang pakikibaka namin sa mundong ito at sa pananatili namin tapat kay Kristo. Sa kapurihan mo'y makibahagi kaming ganap upang kung nasaan ka ngayon ay maparoon din kaming lahat at ang kaganapan ng kalwaladian ng Diyos Amay tuluyang matupad siya nawa. Mahal na Pirhen ang Lasala, tagapagkasundo ng mga makasalanan. Ipanalangin mong walang patid kaming mga dumudulog sa'yo. Maraming salamat po sa pagpunta po ninyo lalo na yung galing pa sa mga malalayong lugar Maraming maraming salamat po pati na sa suporta ninyo sa mga kababayan natin sa ibang lugar. Salamat din po sa suporta uh, sa pagtangkilik sa ating sovereign shop, sa ating alkansya sa Three Nails in a Crown at sa pag-share lagi ng ating mga live masses and videos na malaking tulong po para sa ating lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po. Samantala, paalala, sa February 14, alam ko, pero Ash Wednesday po yun ha? Ash Wednesday, yon. So, yun ang mas lalo nyong, huwag kakalimutan ha, yun ang mas lalo nyong tandaan. Ang mga misa po dito ay 6 a.m. at sa hapon, 5 p.m., 6.30 p.m. February 14, Ash Wednesday, 6 a.m., 5 p.m., 6.30 p.m. Kaugnay nito, kung meron po kayong mga lumang palaspas sa inyong bahay, pakibigay po sa amin dito. So pagkat yan po ang gagamitin na papaging abo para ipahid sa ating ulo, sa ating noon. Salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may God bless you and our families. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Salamat po. Mary, Mother of the Lord, here's a prayer we sing. As once they fell at Lazare, tell your people how to live again. Tell your people how to sing again. Tell your people how to dance again. Tell your people how to pray again. the Lord, here's a prayer we sing to you, let your tears sip in our minds and hearts, as once they fell at last Sunday.